What's up everybody? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today is kind of a special day because I am going bow shopping at Skull Hill Archery and I'm going to be buying a new bow for the first time in seven years. We're going to be testing out a whole bunch of flagship bows, some of the best that you can get right now. And I'm going to be talking about each and every one of them and at the end of the video, I'm going to choose one and I'm going to tell you exactly why I picked it. Let's get into it. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. All right, guys, so we're here at the Skull Hill Archery Shop, and you can see back here, this is their uh, their range. There are three target ranges in the back of the shop. A lot of people don't know that's there, but you can actually come shoot tournaments here. I believe it's every Thursday evening if you're interested in doing that. Anyway, that's not really the point of this video. What I'm doing back here is I'm gonna be testing all of these bows that you see right here. But here's the fun part. In order to assess the feel of the bow, I need to make sure that I'm not being biased so I have never shot any of these bows. I haven't even touched the handles. I don't even know what they're gonna feel like. I'm gonna be blindfolding myself. I'm gonna get one of Brandon's techs here to help hand me bows and knock arrows for me so that the first few shots that I do with each of these bows, I won't have a clue what bow I am shooting. So there's a number of things that are important to me when I'm buying a bow. Um, and a few of those are based on the feel of the bow. So the three things that I'm really interested in is one, whether these bows have a smooth draw cycle, whether they have a solid back wall, and what I like to call the snatch factor. And that's basically when you go to let down from full draw, if that bow wants to yank that string right out of your hand. And then a couple other things that I'm thinking about are obviously the price, the maximum let off, because I like a bow that lets off a lot. The weight of the bow is actually quite important to me. I know a lot of people don't think that it is, but I like a really light bow because I like to be able to put weight on the stabilizers in, in the places that I want them. And then another thing I'll rank that isn't really important to me, but a lot of people like to talk about it, is how dead in the hand a bow feels after the shot. And the reason it's not important to me is simply because when you feel the vibrations from a bow shot, it's actually after the arrow has already left the bow. So it really doesn't matter to me what the bow feels like after that, as long as that it's getting that arrow out of there really straight and fast and, and doing that part right, I really don't care what it feels like in my hand. Plus on top of that, you can usually uh, deal with deadness by, you know, adding stabilizers and, and other dampeners. So that's really not that important to me, but I'm still going to rank it. And I'm gonna be shooting all of these bows without uh, a stabilizer so that, um, you know, I get the real feel of the bow and its vibrations. We have the Matthews phase four. We then have the new Darton Spectra. Um, the phase four is a 33 inch, just I'm shopping for myself. That's what I'm interested in. And shooting is a 32 or 33 inch bow. Um, the Dart and Spectra, I believe, is a 33, 32, 32. Um, we then have the Bowtech Carbon One. This is their new bow. Um, I believe that's the shortest one that I'm going to be shooting. It's a 30 inch. Um, we have the Athens Archery Elevate. Um, then we have the Bowtech SS34. So that one's a little bit bigger than uh, than the rest that I'm looking at. And then we have the PSE Omen. We have the PSE Fortis. The Fortis is the new um, release of PSE. Um, and then we have the Bear Execute. And here we have my old bow. This is my Bowtech Carbon Icon. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this bow uh, after I buy the new one. Um, so thinking about giving it away, if you guys have any ideas on how I should give it away, make sure you drop a comment down below. Um, 
But anyway, all of these bows, like I said, they're in, they're in that middle axle to axle length. Um, and they're in the price range of between $1,000 and like $1,400. So sort of mid range, except uh, there's a couple that kind of stand out a little bit. The carbon one is a little bit more expensive. It's about uh, it's 1650, um, but the Darton um, is quite a bit cheaper. It's only 600, $780. I'm gonna shoot all these bows, I'm basically gonna tell Brandon what I like and then based on which ones I like or don't like, we're gonna make a decision afterwards. We're gonna figure out which one feels the best and then we're gonna factor in the other stuff too that also matters, but. <laughs> it sounds great. All right, let's get it. So this is how it's gonna work. I brought my little blindfold. This is our, this is our, <laughs> new, uh, this is our new face shield mask situation thing that you can buy on uh, our website. Um, I'm gonna double it so that I really can't see through it. So I'm gonna blindfold myself and my lovely assistant here. <laughs> this is uh, this is Brandon <laughs> over here. So Brandon's gonna be knocking arrows and handing me the bows so that I have no idea what I'm shooting. And I don't want you to go in order. Okay. Like just them off make it random. I'm gonna write out a little score sheet so that like like I'm gonna tell you like <laughs> okay. yay or nay. I'll explain it to you in a okay. second how okay. we're gonna do it. Um, because obviously I can't write it down with my yeah, when right, I'm blindfolded. Right. How many fingers am I holding up? I have no idea. I can't oh, see. Wait. <laughs> like I said, I can't see enough. So okay. anyway, there so, oh, is the bow. Guide me to it. There it is. Okay. We're in. There's an arrow in there. <laughs> there is an arrow in it. Yes. Okay. Just yep. making sure. Yep. All right. Might want to step closer to your camera. Like take. One step. There we go. All right. Am cool. I in the frame? You're. Yes, you're in the frame. Okay. Tell me when I'm aiming in the right direction. You gotta aim to your right a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. There we go. <laughs> Over there. Oh shit. Yeah. We're good right there. Hang on. Hang on. Now you're beautiful. There we go. Perfect. All right. Kind of oh. mark in the dirt where you need to stand so you don't move again. Yeah. <laughs> Am I good right? Oh, do, do I need to move yeah, forward? No, you're good. You're right there. I right got here. you in the frame and I moved your camera okay. a little bit so we got it. Okay. okay. So, All right. That so that's good. the zero. That's so you can you can write that down on the thing. Yep. My bow, zero. All right guys, so I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized it's probably gonna be a little easier for you guys to understand what I did if I just explain it in a little more detail. Um, so what I ended up doing is I actually shot each bow four different times and each time I would draw up, let down, then draw up again and shoot so that I could check the draw cycle, the, the back wall, um, the, the snatch factor, the let down, um, and then how it executes and that dead in the hand feel. I did it four different times. I'm not going to show you all of them because it would just take forever. But what I am showing you is the first time that I shot each bow and the last time that I shot it. So this is gonna be me super fresh, my shoulders, my muscles are still good. And then the, the second time you're gonna see me shoot will actually be when I'm relatively fatigued and pretty tired. So it's interesting to see, you know, how I like some of the bows in the beginning, but then I don't like them after I fatigue or the other way around. Um, and also the first time that I shot them, I'm really kind of comparing each bow to the bow that I shot before it, because it's really difficult to remember, um, you know, which bow, uh, like how it compared to all the other bows when I don't actually know which bow I'm shooting. So I was just comparing to the one that I shot before um, each bow. And then the second time that I shoot it, instead of trying to compare them, I simply just focused on whether or not I like, love, or hate um, those factors that I was interested in. So that just gives you a little idea of like how um, we were going through these bows and trying to rank them. The first bow. Okay. We're... You're good to go. Okay. Here? Yes, sir. All right. I'm really going to focus on this mm -hmm. draw cycle. Okay. Okay, aim to the right some. You're so There you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the snatch factor. Okay, snatch factor. That's kind of snatchy. 
Yeah. It's a little snatchy. That's the deep valley. And any of these, I think you're going to end up having snatch because of the well, valley. Well, there's, there's always going to be snatch, but mm -hmm. it's... Uh, but the let off felt pretty nice. Like it took me a while till I got to where I went. So I like that. Yeah. All right. Am I pointing in the right direction? You are. I do like it. Mm -hmm. um, back wall. Back wall. The back wall is solid. I like it better than my bow. Okay, so, so that's a that's a one. That's a one. Okay. Um, draw. Draw. No, mm -hmm. I don't like it better than my bow. Okay, so negative one. And the snatch factor is worse. Negative one. Yeah. Okay. I'm really curious to find out at the end, like which bow is which. <laughs> like, this is kind of fun. I like that draw cycle. Do like that draw cycle, so we'll give it a zero. I'm gonna give it a like. Yeah. You like it. I like it. Don't love it. Alright, cool. Love it. Okay. Back wall. Back wall is great. Back wall is like or love. I wanna go with love. It's love. real solid. Solid. Alright, cool. Uh, let down. Let down. I like that. You like that. Okay. So we like it's it, we don't it's love it. It's controllable. Okay. So we like it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's, it's over here. Yeah. Ooh, I like that a lot better. Um, let me go with the snatch factor. I like that better than the last one too. Okay. All right. The back wall is, it's solid. I'd say it's not much better than the last one. Okay, so. It's a zero. Zero for the back wall. Yeah. Draw, you like it. Yeah. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, sir. And Ooh. then your snatch factor, you like that one too. So you want me to give me plus one for both the draw and snatch factor, uh -huh. and zero for back wall. Yeah. Even though I don't care about it, and I already explained why I don't care, but I want to have dead in the handness because everybody wants to talk about it. Dead hand. Just put dead or whatever. You got I got dead hand on. So, um, the last one mm -hmm. was going to be a negative one. Negative one. This one is a plus one. Here? Yes, sir. That is nice. I like that draw cycle. Like, like it or love it? I love that. Love it. Cycle. I right, love that cool. draw cycle. Um, back okay. wall feels good. Feels I good? Yeah, I okay. like it. I'm not going to say love it, but it's it's solid. Right, cool. Um, let down. It. Well, I'm going to say I like it. I don't love it because, mm -hmm. like, I. I wish you could ease up more before it wants to go. Okay. But when it goes, it's not super aggressive. Super aggressive. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Send it and let's see what you think about the dead in the hand. Right here? Yes, sir. Still pointing in the right oh, direction? Oh, yeah, you got it. It's not the most dead in the hand, but it's not, I don't hate it. Okay. Let's go with the like. Let's we go with the like. like it. You I got like it. it. Bow number three, so put that in your hand. It's over here? Yes, sir. Okay. Smoothness is going to be negative one. Let's check snatch factor. It won't go. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Um, yeah, the snatch factor is less than the last one. Okay, so negative one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, let's check that back wall. Back wall solid as a rock. Plus one. Plus one. Okay. And now we're. Am I pointing in the right direction? A little bit to the left. A little to there the you left. Go. There you go. Perfect. Right yep. Negative one on the dead in the handness. Negative one on the dead in the handness. Okay. okay. 
do that again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, snatch it. Yep. <laughs> All right. I like the draw cycle. It feels kind of heavy up front. Right. But all in all, like it's, I'm not mad at it. All right. Zero plus one or negative one. We're not, we're not, are we doing plus oh, one? Oh, yeah, again? we're going to still do this. This is, yeah. it was a good start. It was a good yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so back wall, I don't really like. It's actually kind of sloppy. Okay. So we're going to give that a negative one draw cycle. I'm going to let it down for a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I can. There you go. Um, and then I'll shoot one. Um, yeah. So back wall negative one draw cycle though. You said you like it. Uh huh. All right, snatch, snatchy. It's, I don't like it. Okay, don't like it. Yeah. All right. Now whack that sucker in that bag and let's see what you think about the dead in the hand. There. Or the. Yeah. There. Yep. A little to the left. There you go. Wait, did I almost miss? <laughs> you got the corner. <laughs> <laughs> cool. um, it's not the most dead in the hand. It's like, it's like shooting a guitar. Gotcha. All right. All right, cool. But it doesn't really matter. To Correct. Me. Uh, aside well, from that, like the execution, I think, was nice. Yeah. Like, what do you think about the grip on that one? Um, I don't know. Put it back in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to the right, grip. Right. Again, you're gonna you're trying to get all the aspects of it. So, so does this grip? Because uh, I can feel there's like a plasticky thing on there. Does it come off? No, this one's no, fixated. It stays grip. like that. Mm -hmm. um, see, I kind of like a pretty smooth grip. Mm -hmm. This one has grippiness on it. Okay. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Release is on. All right. Over here. Yes. Ooh, smooth. Smoothness plus one. Back wall zero is the same. Let's see what the letdown's like. Also ridiculous. Is it gonna go? <laughs> Dude, oh, this is weird, man. That is weird. Alright, snatchy. <laughs> snatchy factor. What you think? Uh I think it's the same as the last one. Same as the last like, one. Yeah, okay. zero. Okay. All right, and then let's shoot this thing. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, you are. Better, it plus one on dead in the hand. Plus though. one on dead in the hand, okay. Four more to go, Poppy. I like the grip on this, because uh -huh. it's smooth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, sir. To the right. I like that draw cycle. All right, so we like it or love it? I'm gonna go with love. Love. Like, that's one of my like okay. preferred ones so gotcha. far. Gotcha. Um, back wall. Back wall. Like it. It's solid. Like it. So we we'll got zero snatch. <laughs> uh, I like it. Like it. All right. Mm -hmm. Send that puppy through and let's find out. Over there. Yes, sir. You good so far? Yep. Here? Yes, sir. It's very dead in the hand. Very dead in the hand. Love? I mean, like. I don't care about dead in the hand, right? but I suppose people that care would love it. Okay. <laughs> so we're here? Yes, sir. Um. I'm going to say zero on the draw cycle. Zero. And then back wall, negative one. Okay. Snatch factor. Oh, God. Um, it's not very snatchy. I'm going to go zero on that. Zero. Okay. Um, and then let's go with a shot. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, sir. Negative one on the dead in the handness. Negative one. The grip is very blocky. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of long. Yeah. But the back of it is slender, so 
I think in holding it, it feels kind of weird, but I think in shooting it, it won't okay. it won't bother me. So, all right, here. Yeah, buddy. I like that draw cycle. So we've got a like. Uh huh. Back wall. Back wall is a like. Like, all right. Let down. That was good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like or love. Um, I'm gonna go with love, love? considering okay. what the other ones were that I said love. Like right. I think that was a nice, nice. back wall. Very or sorry, cool. a nice snatchiness. Snatch, yeah. yeah. Alright, and then uh let's shoot it. Yes sir. Over here? Yeah, buddy. Right on. Right there? Yeah man. Not very dead in the hand. Yeah, that's but they're notorious for that. <laughs> But I mean, whatever. Right. Okay. Right. Right. I'm pointing in the right direction. Yes. Um, I like that draw cycle better. So plus one. Okay. Back wall is rock solid. Plus one. Okay. Snatch factor. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna go negative one because this bow, it it just like, no value. It just goes. Yeah. <laughs> like as soon as you start letting down, it wants to go. Right. Um, okay. So I mean, it doesn't surprise you. It doesn't try to snatch hard, but it's like, right. If you if you like even ease up a little bit, it's trying it's to go. It's trying to go. Mm -hmm. So. Um, okay. And then let's go with a shot. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, sir. Um, I'm gonna go plus one yep. on the dead in the hand. -ness. I kind of figured with that one. <laughs> I have no idea. What to do. I know. You know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, grippy, don't like this grip. Okay. Like, it's not my favorite thing. Um, but, yeah. I'm pointing in the right direction. Yeah, man. I like that draw cycle. Okay. No complaints on that. Back wall. I'm gonna. It's a like. A like. Okay. Let down. It's very controllable. Okay. But I don't like it at all. Cause it's snatchy. It goes very quick. Yeah. Okay. Quick. Okay. And me, as soon as you start letting down, it's like I'm out of here. Gone. Got it. But, yeah, like, I mean, you saw it. I could stop it when mm -hmm. it wanted to go, but, like, yeah. I, that's, like, that's like the worst thing in the world I can think of. You're sitting there full draw waiting on a deer to pop out, and you start getting those, oh, those yeah. chatters. That'll ruin it. Oh, yeah. And completely, if you're play, you play the violin, man, it could cost it, you. For it sure. completely destroys your confidence in that moment. Mm -hmm. So I don't want that. Okay. All right. Here? Yes, sir. A little further to your left. There you go. Very dead in the hand. That's a love for you dead in the hand folks. <laughs> that is like the selling point of this bow. <laughs> Ooh, I like that cycle. Plus one. Plus one. The back wall, solid. Zero. Zero, okay. And let down. Uh, plus one. Plus one. Okay. okay. And then a shot. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, sir. Negative one on the dead in the hand miss, but I really like that though. Yeah. I really like the way that shoots. <laughs> I'm like trying to, <laughs> I'm like just trying to calculate in my head what bow I'm shooting, but I really have no clue. Do you like the grip? I like that it's rubbery, so it's got some grippy, but it's not like textured. Correct. So, and it's it's a slender grip, which I like. Okay. All right, am I pointing in the right direction? Yeah, buddy. You're good right now. Love. Love the draw cycle. Uh huh. Perfect. Back wall, solid. No complaints. Love light. I mean, I don't know if you can love a back wall, but. <laughs> I mean, it's solid as hell, so yeah, I love it. Sure. Okay, cool. 
Um, Snatch. I love that. Love that. All right. Send it. Here? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, more sending that one. <laughs> Good? Yeah, buddy. So it's not that dead in the hand, but it's it's not bad at all. Okay, so we'll give that like, we'll give that a like. It's a like, yeah. I mean it's it's not like annoying or right. anything. It's mm -hmm. just You are working with bare bows with Yeah, there's no so. I'm sure once I put a stabilizer on any one of these bows it'll clear that right yeah. up. Um I'm gonna go negative one on the draw cycle. Okay. See how it lets down. <laughs> Why is it not going? <laughs> oh my god, that is so weird, dude. <laughs> that is so weird. Yeah. Okay. You said you want them all at max level. Yeah. So that's what you got. No, that, I, that's what I want. <laughs> all right. Um, so, uh, snatch factor plus one. Um, plus one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like the. It's just like weird getting used to where it finally is gonna go. Gotcha. But I like the let off. I don't like it when like you ease up just a little bit and it wants to go. Gotcha. You know? um, oh, I didn't think of back wall. Hold yep. On. Check back wall. Back wall is a, a zero. It's solid. Zero. Okay. Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes, sir. Let it rip. Dead in the hand is plus one. Plus. All right. Yep. Over there. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, I don't like that draw cycle. No on the draw. It's very, it's got a pretty aggressive mm -hmm. valley. Right. Back wall's great. Yep. Um, okay, back wall's good. So you like see. the back wall, not love it, but like it. Uh-huh. Let's okay. see what the snatchiness is. <laughs> oh, God. A little snatchy? Yeah. Just threw out my shoulder. <laughs> okay. So I'm There's gonna that. go with uh, don't like that. Don't like that. All right. Dead in your hand. All right. Dead in my hand. I'm pointing the right direction. Yes, sir. It's very dead in the hand. Very dead in the hand. So what are we giving out? You love it? I definitely like that bow. Um, but that cycle, oh my yeah. god, it's it's angry. So you want me to give that dead in the hand a like or a love? Uh, the dead in the hand, honestly, I feel like that might be the best one I've felt so far. So far out of the three? Okay. <sighs> well, let's give that a plus and one. It, well, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. All right. What do we got? What do you think is my favorite? So the one that I know the top two that you like the most out of all of them have been so far has been the SS-34 and the Athens. Those are the two that you have really talked a lot about, pros and cons, all the shooting. You've really enjoyed those two. So, based off the numbers that we see, Fortis was a no-go. We're negative three. You got a positive one on the SS-34. Everything else is zip. Omen got negative. And then a, you got a, pl a plus one for the dead in the hand, but yeah. that's because it had the sight on it. Yeah. So again, you got a negative two for the omen. The very execute, believe it or not, you were okay with the draw. You liked the back wall with a positive one, and then everything else was mediocre. Anyway. Cool, so you got a plus one on that one. The carbon, you got a plus one because you liked the draw cycle, just like the SS-34. Yeah. The only thing with the carbon, though, it had a plus one for dead in the hand. So that kind of puts you there. Athens, though, is reign supreme. You got a plus, a positive three. You love the draw, you love the back wall, and you love the fact that you can control it on the snatch. The, sh the dead in the hand was kind of not so much, but it wasn't a uh, negative. But I don't right. really care about exactly. that anyway. Your phase four ended up getting a, uh, basically an even because your snatch, you didn't like how it come off the valley, well, that's, but that's it was a, dead in the hand, which right I mean, now. That's, I think that's like typical math. That is, like, that is. They are snatchy as hell. Well, Matthew's whole idea, and, I, and I'll tell you this, I, I, Matthew's has that 
to keep you true in the shot. So yeah. a person that has an issue with coming, like creeping or whatnot, and Matthew's gonna help you stay true, yeah. no doubt about it. But I'm not the one that wants a bow to control me. I like wanna if, control the bow. So if, if I was using it for <coughs> target, mm -hmm. that's exactly what I would want. Yeah. But when I'm sitting there in a tree and there's a possibility that like, like one of the bucks I shot this year, I was at full draw for like 45 seconds. It doesn't sound like a lot. Right, right. But it when you're in the moment, that. you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. You know, I'm like, I'm up here and then I'm like, oh, I gotta hold down here for a little while. I'm just like, just bracing, just yeah. waiting for that chance again to pull up and shoot. Right. And so that's when that 90% let off and that really nice like let off yep. is. And is, believe it or not, the Darton turned around and gave you a, even and then a plus one for the snatch but then was dead and the hand was negative so, one, so. i liked the darton let's i'm curious like with some of these so the darton's the cheapest bow so but the athens is so i'm what, trying to like see if there's anything else i gave the same score as as that cheaper bow because i think that's really interesting for somebody who's in it for like a budget bow mm -hmm. you know the uh the bear is also um you know a a cheaper bow i think it's like what it's like around a thousand it's right in there it's right so in. like both of them got a plus one mm -hmm. um and the athens on things is, that matter and the athens is still not as super expensive i think it's 1190 you know and you're still talking the other ones are like about 200 bucks more yeah so, no exactly more, yeah, and so that's pretty about. incredible yeah. that a bow that's significantly cheaper than some of these other brands like matthews and PSC, what's mm -hmm. the price on those? They're 12, well, I, I, I sell them 1250. I think they're 1300 bucks for okay. what they are online. And then, well, and then the Botex, both of those are pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. So like, mm -hmm. for it to basically be outperforming those is pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, like keeping like, up with them. Is, is Keeping up with the Jones is the biggest thing. And, and that's where, that is the reason why, when you come here, and the reason why we did all this is exactly what we do with anybody that comes in. Yeah. You need to shoot them all. Because if you just believe what your cousin's mother's sister shoot, you're never going to know for yourself. Yeah. You've got to be able to do this gauntlet well, thing. Because coming in here, stats alone, mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, it's going to be between the Omen and the Athens. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty interesting to see that the Athens is like kicking the Omen's butt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I honestly thought I was going to end up leaving with an Omen. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, based on the specs of what you want in a bow, I would agree with the Omen. But if you can't hit the everybody broadside, liked, of a, everybody likes speed, dude. But if you can't hit the broadside of a barn, that's yeah. a different story. Just no, you've I mean, got it all there. That draw cycle on on the Omen is angry, mm -hmm. like it. And yet, that's why you it's get your speed. <laughs> that's why you get your speed. Yeah, but exactly. I don't want. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, anyway, I think we got to grab the like my top few, and and I'll shoot them with eyes open. And, yeah. And so and this really is this is what on. this is what I've noticed: the SS thirty four, the Athens, and then really it then just kind of you just got to pick the third one that you want to try so if if the three that i like the best were the ss34 the carbon and the athens my choice is simple mm -hmm. because i don't think i want a 34 inch axle to axle bow it's a okay. it's a big bow okay. you know like it does it matter eh, i don't know but but also to me one thing that matters is weight mm -hmm. And I don't know what the weight on that bow is. Right. Um, I know... Felt heavier? Uh, yeah, if, I think, because it's hard to right. keep straight which one's which. Well, but, you're about to shoot them, so... Yeah, so I think that one's significantly heavier, and that, that would make sense because it's also a bigger mm -hmm. riser. And then the carbon, I happen to know because I looked up the stats on it uh, beforehand, and I was very disappointed at the it's, fact that it's a pretty darn heavy bow for being so a the, carbon and the idea riser. about it is everyone wants to hear carbon and lightweight that's what yeah. they that's what they put it to yeah but that there's bow, a feel aspect yeah well that bow really wasn't designed for lightweightness it was designed yeah. for cold weather shooting yeah so with a whole carbon riser design you are not going to have that icicle in your hand yeah. and like you said i mean that's the reason why you have such a good stack on it it shoots smooth it sits in the back yeah. wall nice it's got all those things you want yeah. but the idea of it being carbon was mainly for that cold weather shooting so you do not have to worry about that being a problem in your exit Execution. Well, and so, but I will say it is the lightest bow in, in the, this group. Probably in this group, yeah. It, it, it is. Um, but the second lightest one is that Athens. It is 4.3 pounds, mm -hmm. whereas that carbon one is 4.1. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're getting an aluminum riser in the weight class of a carbon bow. And right. so that was something, that was part of the reason I really thought I was going to end up liking and, that bow. And, and kinda... I'm, I'm pretty happy that I do like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and the thing is, okay, let's just talk about Athens for a little bit. And this, 
this is, you know, um, uh, Jim and Tracy, you guys do a great job. Amazing job, actually, because what you did is with this, this Elevate is you came in and you listened to everybody and what they wanted in a boat and you provided it. I mean, the grip that you're talking about, you know, that grip is huge. Huge. What, is on that, that the one that was like, that was like, it's a nice slender yeah, grip? Yeah, slender yeah. grip and rubber. I really like the grip. Every time you shot it, you're like, I like this. I like yeah. this, you know, and that's something that's awesome. They put the lower stabilization hole on that bow too. So you can get your lower massive weight. So it will want to settle in your hand. 32 inches axle to axle is a perfect axle to axle length for anybody hunting. That's what my last bow was. Yep. And it's something I'm very used to. And it gives you a very, a lot of stability, yeah. but also gives it not to wear it so long that you feel like it's too yeah. long. <laughs> and you know they got the Picatinny rail system on there and they've got the uh, the dovetail in the back for you to run an integrated rest if you want to so if you want to center line your bow you can do that but they're giving you everything that you want in a bow lightweightness everything you want there because they listen to their people yeah so I'm really uh, liking I, what they've I wanna, done I want to shoot it a little bit more mm -hmm. so I want to shoot that one again I guess the SS34 because I, that's the one that's buttery smooth. Yes, you, draw, right? well, that's, that's also because it's such a long axle. Well, it's 34 axle. inches axle yeah. to axle. And you've got a very yeah. smooth draw cycle with that. Now, me, this is, and this is where this is where you've got to try him because he likes a shorter axle to axle because the things he does, I like a longer axle to axle. You well, get, you're also, you got monkey arms. Yeah, I got, I got pretty I'm short. 30 inches well, and 20 and a half. So. I got short arms. <laughs> but the well, biggest, uh oh. That's not important. <laughs> but the biggest thing is, is like with me, the 34 is going to give me a ton of accuracy. Yeah. Because of that steeper, or that not so steep string angle, more obtuse on that string angle, which is going to be more better for my hold. At yeah. the same time, though, I could easily take that 32 inch model and just run amok with it, you know, and get her done. So yeah. it's to his own flavor. But again, this is for you. And that's what you got to find out. Well, we got to shoot these through the chrono mm -hmm. and see what they do on that. And then I'm going to shoot the bows that I like the most. Oh my God. You're important. It's not even the same number. No. <laughs> well, you really are important. <laughs> yeah. um, so we'll cool. chrono them and then we'll shoot the ones that I like the most and then we're going to make a decision. Cool. Let's do it. Get a new bow. All right, guys. So for the next part of this video, we're going to shoot all these bows through the chronograph because I want to know what kind of speed I can expect to get from these bows in a real life scenario. So I'm going to be shooting my hunting arrows that I've been using. Um, these are, I think they're right around 500, but Brandon's going to check them right now. Um, every single one of these bows is set to a 60 pound peak draw weight um, and 28 and a half inch draw length. So all the bows, uh, well at least the draw lengths and weights are going to be the same. So the only variable here is actually the bow itself and, and that cam and how it all functions. 448. 448. Oh, I thought it was 500 for some reason. All right. You guys heard it, 448 is the weight of this arrow. Um, so we're gonna see how fast a 448 grain arrow will fly out of these bows. Here we go. 257. I am short. 255. Oh, don't like that draw cycle. That thing feels like it's screaming. At 264. 264, so that would be mm -hmm. both of those expensive fancy bows. Two sixty three. Two sixty three, so that's Yeah. With it. That draw cycle's not it's not the worst thing in the world. Right. 258. 258. So happy medium. Still beating still, other bows. Still beating two very, very high end bows. Yeah. That's the Darton Spectrum E32. 258. 258. Yeah. Oh my God, that is such a nice draw cycle. 251. 251. So that's where that cost yes. of the longer Sickiness. axle to axle. Woo! 78. 278. Wow. Yes. That's significant. That though. is smoking. <laughs> that is significant. Oh, yeah. I like that. 
still screaming. 259, but nothing like that. Yeah, no, no. That only is meant, that is a speedboat. But what you've got in your hand is something that's within 260, so the only yeah. thing else. I mean, there's a lot of bows that were in that ballpark. <clears throat> All right, guys, so it is time to reveal which bow I chose. And I'm sure you guys are not surprised based on my reactions that I ended up choosing the Athens Elevate. Um, and as promised, I'm going to talk a little bit about why this was the bow that I ended up choosing. Um, and frankly, it, the deciding factor for me was how the bow felt when I was shooting it because it uh has such a smooth draw cycle and the back wall is super solid um and it just it executes really well it feels great in my hand um you know i really liked the grip on this one it's got a nice slender grip it's gonna make it harder to torque the bow um and uh and another thing i really liked about it is how lightweight it was it's actually lighter than the carbon bow. I, I said it wrong in the video. I, I thought that the carbon bow was just slightly lighter, but this bow weighs 4.2 pounds. That carbon bow is 4.6. I mean, it's an incredibly light bow for being an aluminum riser. And all of these things were just things that, that really mattered to me. Um, and then, you know, so I, and I kind of knew that going in, um, but I didn't know what bow I was shooting. And then after I found out that the bow that I liked that was like one of the top bows that I liked was also this bow that had all these stats that I really liked. It was kind of a no brainer from that point to choose this bow. Um, one thing I will say is slightly disappointing is that um, when you look at the speed, the chrono on this bow, um, it, it basically performed the worst, not in terms of speed, but in terms of the percentage of the IBO um, that uh, that we chronoed. So um, it was 259, which ended up being like 75% of the IBO speed. Um, whereas, you know, even even some of the cheaper bows were like 75.8%. So they were performing just slightly better. So I don't know if that's just that this bow doesn't perform as well at lower poundage or if their IBO rating is a little exaggerated um, either way 259 uh, at 60 pounds and 28 and a half inch uh, draw length is perfectly acceptable um, you know it was still only like a foot slower than pretty much all the other bows um, but they just have a slightly higher IBO rating at 345 um, so I think it's safe to say that this bows probably should have IBO rating of like 340 um, but frankly, those couple feet per second don't really matter to me. Um, one thing that's really cool about this bow though is because the draw cycle is so smooth and because it has that 90% let off, um, I'm, I have it set to 64 pounds right now um, and it's getting 268 feet per second. Um, and, and honestly, it feels like I can crank it up uh, to a higher poundage if I wanted to. Um, because it's so smooth and it holds so nicely at the back wall with that 90% let off. Um, so I may end up, you know, pumping it up a little bit. Um, I've always shot relatively low poundage, but with this bow, I feel like I can I can really turn it up a little bit. Um, so definitely happy with my choice. I've probably put 200, 250 arrows through it so far, and I'm really loving this choice. So. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a bad choice if anybody's looking at bows. See if you can find a dealer that has Athens because I bet most of you haven't even heard of Athens and I know I hadn't heard of Athens until I shot uh, their uh, another bow they have called the Vista, which I shot at Brandon's shop last year and I really liked it. And so that was part of the reason that I was considering the Athens to begin with. Um, so definitely check them out. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight to the bow that you might want to choose. Um, but I am thrilled with my new Athens. So, uh, 
thank you guys for watching make sure you're subscribed because we got plenty of other content coming um, and if you want to join us for any of the events we have coming up we have um, a scouting workshop we have a saddle hunter 3d archery tournament that's planned and we're also going to have a booth at the florida outdoor expo which is coming up in just a few weeks uh, april 21st to the 23rd so hopefully you guys will swing by come by the booth and say hi to us and check out some of our camo we'll be sharing a booth with wood hunting saddles so you can try out their saddles as well um, and it should be a good time so uh we'll see you guys in the near future hopefully